Hey Aries, this is your reading for June 20th through July 20th. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Aries, you guys are starting off with this card that says evolution, okay? It is Virgo's energy. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your chart somewhere, but it's Virgo's energy and it is meaning wisdom. Um, so evolution, you guys are getting a lot of spiritual cards out, okay, coming out in your last few readings here, Aries. This card is saying a seed pod catches the wind. A seed pod uses the wind to travel further afield and increases chances of finding fertile ground. So they're wanting you to take flight at this time, okay? <laughs> Maybe you need to expand and go out and do something different um, or spread uh, open up to new knowledge, to new information, to gain more wisdom. The card is saying evolution can be practical. Minor changes can add up. What small useful habits can you put in place? Let's go ahead and take a look at your energy here, Aries. We're going to be, um, we're not going to do a Celtic cross in this reading here. We're going to be looking at uh, specific things. We'll look at your general energy. We'll look at your finances. We'll look at your career and we'll look at your, uh, look at love. Okay. For this time period. And then we'll end the reading off with, um, ask a question, get an answer and explanation. Okay. So we're going to, uh, do it that way. All right. And then I might or might not <laughs> close the reading off with the message. More than likely I will, but let's go ahead and jump into your reading here. Okay. Spirit of angel gods of the most high. What message do you have here for Aries? Aries. This is your general energy. So you're moving at great speed. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? You're moving almost like this evolution card that's showing up for you. Moving on, moving up, moving beyond, maybe some challenges, some difficulties. Um, your life or your projects are gaining momentum at this time things may be moving very quickly for you that's what i'm feeling very soon um you guys are going to be doing something but i feel like it's going to be something that you really enjoy with the eight of wands that's showing up for you and i feel like you're really going to be on top of your game during this time period okay let's take out four cards here four cards so your general energy looks pretty good right now at this time during this time period. Yes, a lot of you guys are flying high right now, especially with the Eight of Wands and the King of Wands here. So motivational, ins inspiring, that's the energy of the King of Wands, theatrical, ambitious. Your spirit guides are encouraging you to take a leadership role here in your life during this time. Step into the spotlight here, Aries, and fly high. A lot of you guys may be involved, like I said, in different proje projects. You may be speaking in front of individuals or people online, offline. Um, all eyes may be on you at this time here with the fireworks, this great energy. You may have a lot of things going on at once, but I feel like you're going to be in a good place right now. Some of you guys may be taking training classes as well. That's something that I'm hearing as well for work or job here. This is just your general energy, but with wands, that's what I feel. It could have something to do with your career, uh, some goals that you're trying to reach, uh, some of you guys are stepping into a period of really fulfilling your life purpose, uh, doing something that you you love because the Eight of Wands tells you that you may be a little stressful because you have uh, many uh, positive opportunities coming in, but there is some unexpected events or rapid changes happening in your life, but they're letting you know here that 
you will have the ability to multitask. I see that with the King of Wands. A lot of you guys may delegate some of that task to other people, whatever you guys are trying to build or create or do. You may have family helping you coming in, or you guys may have friends helping you, or you may have a team of people in business helping you some type of way. Um, communication is key, okay? Because I feel like you're you're really going to be on top of the world. Sitting on top of the world. <laughs> That's the energy. Let's take a look at your finances here. You guys have the chariot card that's showing up here. And you also have the five of cups. So some of you guys, your finances, you may have had some troubles here. But I see you moving on and beyond those troubles um, right now at this time. You also have the card that says letting go. So you may be letting go of old ideas. You may be letting go of old energy. You may be letting go of uh, focusing on negativity or things that you may have had to release or let go of. <laughs> okay, like your card is saying, focusing on the negative, you guys are letting that go. The negative things that may have been overtaking your energy, overtaking your heart, your mind right now at this time. Uh, whatever did not turn out your way or as anticipated here, you guys are focusing on letting that go because you want to move forward. You want to move beyond it here. Um, and you guys could have lost some money here. That's something else that I'm feeling as well. Some of you guys lost some money, but you're moving into a, a new period here, Aries, where you're going to be making, um, I feel like you're going to be making quite a bit of money here coming up very soon, okay? That's what this is letting me know. So your career, your finances, some of you guys, uh, you're getting back on your feet here because you're no longer allowing the past to hold you back. You're focused on ma maintaining a positive mindset to overcome challenges that you may have faced here, Aries, in the past as well. With the Five of Cups and the Chariot card, you're trying to stay optimistic. And Spirit is saying that rewards will come from your hard work. Successfully balancing many priorities at once and doing it in a very beautiful way with the king of wands that's coming in for you they're wanting you to really focus on being determined to reach your goals and using your willpower to overcome any other challenges you guys may be faced with let things go that no longer serve you or um yeah serve you at this time here okay this chariot card that is showing up for you you're going uh, I feel like you guys are moving into a place in your life here, Aries, where you guys are going to be very victorious. You may be really focused on controlling your finances here, uh, working on overcoming financial obstacles. Um, because you have this focused mindset, you'll be able to deal with any obstacles here, I'm saying, in the general energy with the King of Wands and the Chariot card. You'll be able to overcome or deal with any obstacles that have been standing in your way of your material security here. So a leg up. I feel like you guys are going to be moving on and moving up. Okay, let's take a look at your career. You guys have the ego coming in. That is the death card. And you also have the six of pentacles here. In regards to your career so I feel there's people that may come in and assist you at this time okay a lot of you guys you are going through this spiritual transformation because you have the card that says evolution here okay uh, a lot of you guys are breaking free you see how she's breaking through the chains here this may be breaking through illusions that's that may have been um, a trap for you Having you feel trapped. This is Capricorn's energy. Is this the devil card? 15. Yes, this is the devil card, not the death card, if I said that wrong. So this is the devil card that's coming in. So you guys are breaking through temptations, um, obsessions. That's what I feel. Breaking through any illusions. You're accepting responsibility for your situations as well, whatever you need to deal with. If you're, uh, you've been dealing with a career that hasn't been fruitful at this time, 
and you've been feeling trapped in that job or feeling trapped in that career, I see a breakthrough, but I also see people giving to you. You're receiving a lot at this time because you're choosing to no longer hold yourself back. You're understanding here areas that you have more options uh, or you're seeing that you have more options than you thought you had. Uh, and you may be in this energy of evaluating what you want um, so that you can actually move towards it. Uh, you're being told here to really open yourself up to new possibilities, new opportunities, to even work with people when it comes to your career. Maybe you need to allow yourself to work in a different setting uh, where your uh, skill set is more valued at this time because I see success in your job or your career, but it may come with some changes with the devil energy. You see her breaking free from those chains here. So definitely there may be uh, a better suited a position or opportunity elsewhere or um, I'm feeling online or offline for you guys okay because there's a lot of mentorship or assistance uh, you can see the hands with the cups here okay I don't feel like this girl is just giving out assistance I feel like it's also being given to her as well in her time of need she has the wheel with the pinnacle on it so um, you're going to be having enough, I feel, okay, enough to give to others at some point here. And it's not going to take very long to get there. You'll be receiving financial gifts or generosity. Um, people may be generously giving to you here because your energy and your vibration is changing. Or you're deciding here with this together card to open up and work with new people, okay? various types of people in different settings here, okay? Um, and you're seeing that there is more beneficial relationships to be had here. So break free of the illusion that you're stuck with this double card. Like you have to stay in some something or stay somewhere. Allow yourself to evolve just like the seed pod that is showing up here looking like the butterfly. It's all about evolution, right? Let's take a look at love for you. Okay, now <laughs> this is the death card that is showing up for you. And you also have the nine of cups. Oh my goodness. So something's going to be happening in love. There is a transformation when it comes to your romantic partnerships here, okay? You also have your last card coming in saying it's a trap here so that's pretty interesting it's a trap i don't feel like it, it may be new love that's coming into your life with this death card or um you're deciding to no longer hold yourself back from moving on to a new relationship or even loving yourself more okay for some reason it feels like you guys are are not going to be trapped it's a trap here to just stay in a, in a situation for some of you guys or stay stuck to one person waiting for them to change, waiting for them to choose you, uh, waiting for them to accept your love here is a trap. Uh, that's why this card is coming up. Yes, that's what Spirit is saying right now at this time. It's a trap to wait around and just uh, expect someone to reciprocate a feeling or an emotion or give love to you. Um, and they're asking you to move on. So you, you have many other options here. Okay. You guys could have the love of your life come into, um, your world. If you decide to bring something to an end, it could be an obsession you have for someone else. Okay. <laughs> With the devil card sitting right next to the death card. It could be that you have a past relationship that you're stuck on mentally, emotionally with the five of cups energy that's showing up for you. Maybe if it was, maybe it was a relationship you had with someone that you work with here, because this is in the finances situation. Maybe you had finances connected to them and now you have to let them go, or it's a relationship that you're leaving behind here and you're feeling like you want to just close off to love maybe because a relationship was very difficult. But again, your general energy is telling you to fly high uh, just and evolve at this time. 
uh, the release card is saying endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back. This is a time of evolution and spiritual transformation for you so that new things can come into your life. Nine of Cups. <laughs> Nine of Cups is showing up for you. So that is great energy. If you're looking for love, if you're open to love here, there could be a very positive relationship that is able to replace or move into the place that you have made space for uh, someone to move into. So a relationship where there is a lot of appreciation uh, shown to you. Um, I was going to say gratitude, but I feel deep emotion and happiness here. Okay. Um is going to be coming in towards you. It's like a wish fulfillment. So if you're feeling like you're trapped, you're not. There's an option for you to release something. And Spirit is saying, just release it. You're not trapped. We have something better for you here. Okay? So this part of the reading here, Aries, is ask a question, get an answer. I'm going to... And think about what you want to ask here, okay? Okay? going to pull one card to and this one is popping to get your answer and then we'll pull one card here to get your explanation of why this answer is coming up for you okay Okay, let's take a look at this. So this is your answer coming in. The answer to your question here, Aries, is no. It says no, but let me explain. It says circumstances require a more careful approach, much more careful. However, the situation of your decisions give birth to colossal opportunities and the incredible means for their implementation. But again, be careful. It's crazy. So they want you to be careful about something here. Maybe being trapped in a situation here when there's really a wish that is meant to be fulfilled. Maybe it's time for you to say no to something here since we have the devil card and the death card that's showing up. Okay? The explanation here of why you have this no, it says you need to think twice before acting. However, this cooling off period might take three to four months. Afterwards, you will have a clear direction and attract new perspectives. Successful, um, successful results are thanks to your unwavering vigilance and mindfulness. You are strength personified just like this king of wands energy that is showing up for you you guys leave me a comment let me know how you feel about this reading here i hope you guys have a blessed day give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell check out your moon your rising and your venus sign for this reading between june 20th and july 20th to gain more inspiration or information and i'll see you in your next one take care aries bye